two of our most exciting awards tonight are chosen by you, the audience. Fans are the reason we are here, keeping us going and keeping us honest. This year, more than 20 million votes came in from around the world for our Kojiko Fun Audience Choice Award. And now is the moment that so many of you have been waiting for. The finalists are Giacomo Giannotti. I'm just trying to burn this image in my head forever. I hate what you do realize nothing is happening in the guest room of Jackson Avery's house, right? With all of our co-workers downstairs. Okay. Graham Wardle. Well, my mom uh, used to make me promises. She couldn't keep them. And I got really upset. What kind of promises? Well, there used to be a fair that would come into town every summer. And they had one of those really big roller coasters. And I always wanted to ride it, but I wasn't tall enough. So my mom, she uh, got a pencil, and she went into my bedroom, and she made a little mark on the wall, the exact height that I needed to be to ride it. And she promised me that when I was tall enough, we would ride it together. Melanie Scrafano. This is a Russian doll of suckage. Inside an arbitrary border, there's a hell mouth. Inside that's a demon bush party. Inside that is a jail. And inside that, I'm at the mercy of a Dukes of Hazard reject who wouldn't know justice if it split out him in his butter sculpture face. Mm. Is there? You have a visitor. Good. Okay. Give me a heads up next time. And the winner of the Kojiko Fund Audience Choice Award is Melanie Squafano. Thank you, Erpers, for being the fiercest warriors of love and compassion and acceptance that I have ever known. I am honored to call you my family. Thank you, Lynn Rachels, for making the awards since season one until I was finally able to win one my damn self. Thank you to my sons who love me unconditionally, even on my worst days. I adore you. And to my husband, Jeff, who is the only man I've ever met who is worth crying over but never makes me cry. You are so amazing, and I love you. Mwah.